you have it. I mean, like right from the beginning of the show, we've been making noise about, you know, they coming on the show today. Uh, Rob Mohini, Rob Muhima. They are seated today, Anamewa. Rob Muhini, Rob Muhima. Correct, all Co correct. All correct. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm Rado. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Nice. You know. Hi. You look very beautiful. This is my first time seeing you. Thank you. Oh, have a pan. That's what you want. Oh, that's it. Anyway, so ladies first, let me come to you, you know, Barani. Yeah. How has everything been for you so far, being a female rap queen? Um, I don't know. It's a normal feeling. I don't know if it's I'm a normal supposed feeling. to feel different from the guys, though. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, but it's a normal feeling every rapper will feel. Okay. I mean, it's it's a journey. We just moving each day one step at a time mm -hmm. yeah mm. and then i mean I, I want to know how what are some of the criticisms that you face being a female you know rapper in this game what are some of the criticisms you face well first of all everyone who wants to venture into any male dominated area mm -hmm. You should expect there's gonna be like a lot of challenges. Yeah. Ain't gonna work like fifty thousand times harder than the men to yeah. be recognized and yeah. to be accepted. So I mean the acceptance was not there. I had to prove myself mm -hmm. that I'm not just a girl for you to say, Oh, I mm -hmm. didn't know, mm -hmm. but it's like she actually can do it. Yeah. So it's like I had to work to be accepted. Yeah. Mm. It, so what were some of the things that people were saying? I want to know, like, oh, you, oh you're yeah, one of those people, those artists that don't pay attention. I don't pay attention oh, to those critics. Oh, come on, as a human being, people will <laughs> criticize you and definitely be better for Be better for yeah. Yeah, but I mean, if you want to actually go ahead, you take the advice and forget the critics. Because yeah. it, when they advise you, you have to listen. And when someone is just criticizing, you just have to ignore and move forward. But I mean, it was like, you're a woman, just mm -hmm. stop this and do what girls do i mean when you sing you blow faster that mm -hmm. was the things i was hearing because mm -hmm. people hear my voice and they're like yeah you're, you're a good singer but i always felt like why should i join the crowd when i can't right. stand you out, can stand you out. Yeah. wow that's that's impressive let me come to you Amirado. how was everything going with you smooth so far so good mm. you're doing well you're doing well yeah. oh you are doing well <laughs> you're doing amazing and i mean thank you congrats to you on the release of gina album thank you we're going to get on we are going to get to that but then before that i'm interested in knowing um you know you've you've been trending or oh, trendy pa. <laughs> i'm rado you trend a lot but then um i want to know how you cope with everything you are doing your best it's like most of the times too i don't i don't know personally if you feel say you have to prove a point to Ghanaians, especially for Ghanaians to know who you really are when it comes to rap i don't know if that's your aim yeah i've, I've, I've always been on that end of proving a point because right uh, as a rapper you can't relax you get it eh? okay uh, i've been one of the guys that uh, they've been actually had doubts a bit uh, okay. because uh, I'm, a, I'm a young kid. Yeah. There are people doing this thing, and I feel like I can do it and doing better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then rap is not—it's not about coming on interviews and saying. And just saying, you yeah. have to prove it on records. So right. I always want to prove a point, and I always want to reassure the people that I've got it, and it's, you know, it's not just a fluke. You mm. get it. So that's me trying to always deliver and do my bit. But some also feel like you don't need to be mingling or just allowing yourself to you know prove prove yourself in any way like let's say you are being compared to an artist you mm -hmm. have to respond to certain things some say you don't have to because you are you you are good you're amirado well sometimes you have to voice out because hey. there are people out there looking 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 to be you yeah or we have people that see you as a mentor yeah and then sometimes if you're not outspoken people mm -hmm. can just move on with your assumptions and on the say within you get it so when mm -hmm. you compare me to any other rapper mm -hmm. i have to know the reason why you do that mm -hmm. so not to maybe affect somebody there who loves me and then because of you, your comparison could affect their perception about me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so at a point I have to voice out and at some point you have to let it go. Mm. As my big sister said, yeah. we don't pay attention to negative criticisms, yeah. but the positive ones we pick it and move. Mm. Yeah. What, what, is, what, what, what is your lookout on the Ghanaian music industry? We are doing well, mm -hmm. we are growing. I think we can do better, but we are growing. Yeah. And yeah. Barwani. Yeah. Do you think that a lot of artists, I mean, you are one person, you are one female who raps in three mm -hmm. majority of the times and like you're so good. Mm -hmm. And but do you uh, would you agree that a lot of Ghanaian artists are beginning to sound Nigerian, like a lot of people say? 
and trying to copy Nigerians. Which one is the sounding like Nigerians though? <laughs> <laughs> trying to hop on their sound because, you know, like... I don't know, I don't believe that. I mean, yeah. High Life started from Ghana. Mm -hmm. it was, okay, this is what my dad told me. High Life was in Ghana when the curfew time hit Ghana. Most of our musicians went there to work. When they came back, it was different. So it's like that influence of High Life with the PG and everything was here dominating here and then you know the nigerians were also doing their thing yeah so it's like we are neighboring countries we market the same time and everything so yeah. certain times we have some similarities but i don't think Ghanaians want to copy nigerians because nigerians are even picking our language now exactly. you hear most of nigerian songs and you hear chi, chi yeah in it mm -hmm. so why are people not saying the nigerians are rather copying us but mm. they want to say Ghanaians are rather copying nigerians mm. I don't see it like that. Right. I mean, we speak PG. Yeah. So yeah. if a Ghanaian uses PG, I don't think the Ghanaian is copying. And then if we are doing our beats, it's not the same though. It's the same. Yeah. Amarado. I agree with her. Mm. Why should we even disregard our own language? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes people say we rap in Chi and then we can't go international. Because exactly. Mm -hmm. Rocky Dawini just backed the Grammy nomination. Yeah. I think the views of that song on YouTube can't be compared to probably Abotre, but it's mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. on the biggest stage. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's all about you and what you believe in mm -hmm. and what the people truly want. If it's a hit, people jump to it. Yeah. Uh, somebody just did Odoyu, Odoyu, and we are applauding exactly. the person. Exactly, we are, yeah. But would we do same if it was Amrado or Enobaroni? Right. You say you are local, rap in English, sing in English. I, 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 don't, I don't agree at some point, even though we all have to learn and evolve. Mm -hmm. Doing English is good, but it doesn't mean you should forget about your roots. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Anyway, so um, I know of a collaboration by you both, the finish line, yeah. which is really, 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 <laughs> really dope. Before we come to individual projects, I want to know how how you came by the finish line, the both of you. We didn't come by, we just did it. You just did it. <laughs> hey, you just entered the studio and then you did it. <laughs> no, I was like, don't, don't, don't was think done, yeah. yo, I don't, we're just <laughs> busting some rap, you know, and then we just wow. spread it out, yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not only in one. Hey, you, you guys literally give me chills. Seriously, <laughs> like watching. The, I've I've watched the video. Yeah, I've listened to the song. But then this, and then you guys being seated here, mm -hmm. it was a whole different feeling for me mm -hmm. being seated here. <laughs> but how do you come by your words? How do you put it together? And then to top it off, you went into the studio. You didn't really plan this whole thing. You just did it. And it turned out it's good. Is when the lady was sitting here, uh -huh. the one that came before yeah. us. She was talking about the shows, the timing of the shows, the adverts. And right. I, was, I was talking to myself, how, how does she do that? So how do you wake up every morning and come and sit here glowing <laughs> and doing your work? So you answer me first, please. I'm not that is different. That's not different. It's, it's not it's different. It's, different. it's all <laughs> art. It's all art. It's yeah. God-given. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you get your inspiration from, from with, the, with, the, with the raps? You know, where I mean, do you get your life, inspiration Life from? itself inspires me any day because when I'm talented, God gave me the talent. Yeah. So what you see as a normal thing can be like a story for me to write music right. on. You know? yeah. So that's how I get inspired. Mm -hmm. Anything about life, anything about my life just mm -hmm. inspires me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, I'm right. Up. Basically that. Yeah. And then the hunger, the drive, the hung family. Yeah. So it goes on and on. Mm -hmm. At some point, you have to do it for people who have who have trust in you yeah. people who have invested in you yeah. and the people who who is ready to sacrifice everything for you so and yeah. yourself as an individual right wow this is really good anyways now let's come to your individual project let me come to you Amarado. the Gina album yeah god is never god asleep. is never asleep yeah my first studio album oh but i hope you are aware that we really made noise about it on prime morning yes you are aware, yes, right? Please. Okay, good. So you and, have to pick us up. Thank oh, you very oh, much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. God bless you. Oh, you're welcome. Matt, tough it. Matt, it's tough it. 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 Gina has a trend saying. Gina, they say God is never asleep. They say, why now? They don't know why now, but Gina and Kazan has a trend saying. They say, Senka Shakespeare, I'm going to say, 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 Simple. Wow. God is never asleep. Indeed. Your mom should be proud. Very proud. She just called. Oh, okay. I said, bye. Hi, mama. 
me? <laughs> wow. So, I mean, every single song on there, you, you're, t you're, trying to, you're telling us that you're dedicating it to your mom, basically. Most of them. Most of them. To honor God and to mm -hmm. appreciate my mom. And then mm -hmm. I didn't do it alone. Yeah. My sister was on it. Yeah. Last minute was on it for me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, episode. It mm -hmm. goes on and on. So. How long? How long did it take you to put together three everything? Years, three, three years. Yeah. Three years. Yeah. It's been three, almost three years now. Ten songs. I did over fifty songs, and I selected ten. Now, before, before, before that, did it? Did you always have it in mind that you would want to create an album that you would dedicate it to your mother? Yes. It's yes. something that you always wanted. I've always to do. wanted to do that. I've always, because I think my mom didn't really believe in me when I started doing music. Because ah. she thought I, I would become a rascal. I'll be going about smoking, <laughs> drinking, and then I told her that I'm going to prove her wrong. So now she has and this and she's, yeah, she's very happy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but what did she wish you would become, though? A doctor. Ah, as uh, usual. Uh, or a footballer. Ah. Yeah, a doctor. And a double ball ball. Yeah, I know how to play football. Okay, yeah. I see. Go back to me, the Ghana Akro. You know. Oh, Kami Waka Tada Dada. Kami Waka Tada Dada. Anyway, so let's come to Eno Baroni. Eno, yeah. let's talk about Don't Judge Me. Yeah. I listened to it yesterday. And by the way, we've also made noise about Don't Judge Me right here on Prime One. Thank you. Into, into Dad and Adabe Mami. Me both miss you, Mama. Oh, Eno. Jamma, no, Mama, me toughy. Mama, me toughy. Eno, so I'm going to Mama, me. No problem. <laughs> Anyways, so don't judge me. Yeah. How come? Why don't judge me? You know, I think um, growing up, I never knew I was different in society. Like I was born into a Christian home. Yeah. But I never knew I was like seeing difference until like anytime I'm just doing anything any normal girl would do, they yeah. are like, hey, what's up for bump now? You see? What's up for bump for me? Even if. We are just dancing here, normal. Everybody is dancing. Everybody will single me out. In school... Yeah, we were probably overdoing the dance moves. No, no, no. Like, any normal <laughs> thing, I will be punished more than anybody because we are so far back. Oh. In school, I so far back. Like, everywhere, I so far back. Oh. So I was like, what's this? Then I grew up and my talent took, took over. Right. And it's like, you're not supposed to do this. I so far back. Ah. You understand? So I realized I'm not the only one going through this. Um, there are lots of preachers kids out there who have like God-given talents yeah. but because of where we find ourselves people want us to also like emulate what our parents are doing and aside even the also for back se section the car there are lots of people like me like musicians are, like us and then it's like when you enter the church they are like I said you are Satan and you've come to church I, exactly. you understand yeah yeah. But they don't know your worship, like how close you are with God or anything. But because you're a secular musician or somebody like not looking like how to conform with yeah. the principles of how they go about everything. Yeah. You know, before you, you continue, yeah. um, let me just chip in. I watched your performance at Gifty Auntie's anniversary celebration. Okay, yeah. Yo. <laughs> Eno. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. You are good. Thank you. You are good, but I, I would love to put you on the spot. No one may worship you, but I put you. Oh, I know men from my church, Miss Miss Romem. Eh, say men yom neka yom men yom. Thank you for you. Ah, when yom neka, aye, aye. I'll put you on the spot. But then, um, you were you were saying a relationship. So it's like I'm just saying it in general that don't judge people. Like when you see people, don't judge. The appearance, don't yeah. judge anything you just see. Yeah. Because you don't know the person. Right. Because when I pray, God actually answers. Right. You are not the one to judge who is going to go to heaven or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? And that's what the song is basically about. Yeah. People always see us and write hellfire for us. Yeah. Especially when a musician dies, made every musician so rest in peace. You hear people saying that, hey, Obosam Jimbe do, we will hold Michael Jackson, we will hold, you see that thing. Why are you judging? <laughs> You see, it's true. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I get it. Anyway, so um, the don't judge me. Yeah. I mean, with everything that you are saying right now, yeah. I'm interested in knowing how has so far the support of the church, the family you're from, how yeah. has the support been? Yeah. So I think when the concepts came to me, I I I just wanted to have somebody who is just like me who understands me, and then the roles came in mind. And then mm. I featured the girls, yeah. And you guys were close already, like before. Like you guys are, are you guys really tight? No, 
Oh. I didn't know him. Oh, wow. But I've seen him sing, and I loved it. And so I think we, I spoke with management, and we're like, yo, let's, let's make this happen. He wasn't, he wasn't even in Ghana. And he came down, we did the song, shot the video, you know, and so far, so good. The guy is, like, the Rose is so yeah, talented. Yeah, the hook is, is on point. Yeah, he watch out so for well. more from him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so far, I think I'm getting both positive and negative um, responses. Yeah, people is are it in like, relation to the song itself or the collaboration? People think we did the song to rebel against our fathers because hey. I'm the ch I'm a daughter of a pastor and he, he said, is. Yeah, so I've got like a lot of people warning me that um, the wrath of God is gonna come on me and stuff and hey. stuff and stuff. And I've got people too, who have actually understood the message, you know, and are like getting it understanding vibing to it you know i i, I saw a I'm message really this morning to the lyrics i saw a message this morning from reverend um Danswabiam, and he congratulated me Aww. i was like thank you Papa. but you see um some people are like demons have taken over what's what, 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 what. that part though <laughs> that part though seriously oh, i don't know, what, I don't know. What, what inspired that part i'm interested which part the, the, part, the, the, the demons and the, the angels, angels and demons ah, ah. you know like uh, you have good and bad right. angels and demons all working together for your good i i have the angel side of me like people always saying this guy's a good person and it's like publicity the bad publicity and the, and good, the good publicity right. all together is working for my good mm -hmm. yeah understand you have your own demons it doesn't mean you're a demon like right. you have your bad side and you have your good side but it's all together working for your good right yeah Right, so those of you that were sort of confused about that part, especially, yeah. there you have it. Uh, so what do you aim at getting in relation to the song yeah. and the no, collaboration? Um, um, uh, it's not only pastors who can preach. People think um, you have to be a man of God, go to Bible college and everything. To yeah. We musicians, we're also preaching. You're preaching. And I, I just hope somebody will also like learn the word of God or something good for my music right yeah right i want to touch hats you want to touch maybe hats. i'm not winning souls but i'm touching that you are touching <laughs> yeah hats. this song is really good yeah, amrado you. what do you make of the song you know i can relate perfectly because my mom is also so for mommy uh, my, my uh, stepdad was a pastor a and then I've, I've i've had a bit of that uh, people will be saying oh praise be nina why locks and I, I wanted oh. to sing at church, even though I don't have a voice. But they will never give me the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> because probably who could do any more? I not go for a mass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, It's a good one. Hey. It's a good one. Mm. Yeah. Yesterday I was listening when my manager. It's a good one. It's yeah. a good one. And you know, Eno is always on point. You know, he's He's always, always on point. Yeah. How do you do it? I don't know. It's God, like. First of all, it's God who always gives that, and it's experiences that I've been through. Like me, I've I've seen, I'm not I'm not old, but I've seen a lot. Yeah, you know, like I, especially I remember, being a woman. I remember I've said this over and over. Like they put my picture in the church and prayed over it that my music shouldn't work. Like nothing should work. Oh for really? Me. Wow. You understand that? Okay. Uh, let's try to take the next. Okay interesting okay so we have quite a lot <laughs> we have quite a lot of messages anyways okay so you can still you can still send in your message if you have any questions at all for amirado and then um eno baroni please send them immediately on our whatsapp line which is disp displayed on your screen right now and then i'll do my best to read them before uh, the show ends amirado hi gina album what do you want wh what is the impact that you want it to have out there I want the people to get used to the musical side of me after I dropped my Patience EP. It had a lot of commercial songs on there and then I'm trying to reassure the people that I can do it and do it better. So yeah. it's not about proving my worth as a rapper, yeah. but then I want to make people believe that I can produce good music mm. for, for the churches, for the clubs, for the, for the souls that are depressed, for the happy souls and all. Mm. Okay. You know. Yeah. Um, I mentioned that I wouldn't go, you know, uh, when we're talking about the church and yeah. you, the whole relationship. Yeah. But then I'm interested now yeah. in knowing what is currently, what is the relationship between you and your father? We're cool. How is, you're cool. Yeah, we are cool. I mean, um, in the beginning, it wasn't an easy thing, 
you know like even people who are like just boys going to do rap you know it's very difficult to like convince your parents if your parents are responsible yeah. ones yeah. talk of a girl yeah who wants to do a rap mm -hmm. i mean a bad yeah hip-hop thing you know so I was hiding it in the beginning yeah. and I, I, I had it to a point that I couldn't hide anymore because I'm on TV, I'm, yeah. I'm everywhere and it became an issue, I had to run away from the house. Wow. I, I mean, apart from Upper East Upper West, I stayed everywhere, mm -hmm. yeah, because I had to run and go you here. You were hiding? Yeah, when, when I get here and it's like, it's like when I come home, I'll eat, I'll do everything, but I can't come home and stop music, so I have to move to this friend. When there's a yeah, studio yeah, here, I record yeah. here. I moved to Sashi Koforidia. How old were you? I started rap when I was like 14. Hey. So it's like yeah. after secondary school, when I went to Teshari, I was just running, running. So running, the running. aim has always been a rapper. It's funny how, like, at a very young age, I just discovered myself that I could rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the first time I saw Miss Bella be one and on TV, it just got me feeling like I can do this. So they inspired you? Somehow, yeah, because um, uh, I didn't know anything about secular music in my house. Okay. It was always gospel, gospel songs for me. Yeah. I think like songs and stuff. But when I was hearing of the ladies, I felt like I could do it. And when I went to secondary school and entertainment also set in, then I started rapping like a guy because I didn't even want to rap like a female. You know, and I was like hopping here, here, here. So it got to the point where now I have to promise my dad, I'm not going to do music, focus on my studies. And mm -hmm. then they found out I actually was doing music. That was where the fight started. <laughs> wow. But right now, I mean, I'm not bringing shame to the family. So all he you were doing them proud. Like pray for me, advise yeah. me. Yeah, very cool. Okay, so I have a few messages here. Hi, Amirado. Continue to drop good music for us. Don't stop. Uh, Ghana is proud of you. And this is from Alpha Success. Okay, another message says, good morning, shout out to Eno and Amarado, you guys are dope. Uh, another one, Eno and Amarado, keep on the good work, I like you people so much. Stanley from Inchi. Okay. Oh, the messages keep on coming, the messages keep on coming. Um, let me... Let me read this other message. Good morning, I'm Ava. I really enjoy watching your program. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Continue watching Prime Morning every single Monday to Friday. And then, okay. And another message. Good morning. Shout out to Enno and Amarado. You guys are dope. Okay. Um, hello, I'm Big Smoke from Aquitia. I love you all. Keep the fire burning. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm King David from Aflao. I am getting a lot of morals from the stories of our king and queen. We are elated that you are being inspired from these stories. Um, I love them both, but I dreamt about Eno. She is my day one mentor. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what was I People doing in the dream? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Oh, I'm trying to retrieve um, some more messages, but then, because the messages keep on coming, they, they keep on coming, they keep on coming. Okay, so Eno and Amirado, I asked Eno to give me worship song. She begged me. She said she wouldn't. So this is what I'm going to do. Okay. Hmm. Should I say it? No. <laughs> no. We beg you. you don't please, me. please, please. I'm done accepting any <laughs> pleading. I'm done. Me, me so, the coffee. Uh, I'm, no, that's not fair. Uh -huh. I'm rather, I have, we have sat on here and then we have promoted the Gina album. We've done so well. We deserve the toffees. In fact, okay. lots of toffees. Okay, we'll A see. lot. You we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> this is what I know our viewers out there will also want. Mm -hmm. We're going to play a song and we want the both of you to rap on it. Which song? <coughs> Which song? I think it's our song. Okay, so it's an instrumental. Oh, is it? Say so, yeah, so we want you to freestyle. <laughs> oh no, you see how they freestyle. Oh. No, let me tell you something. Let me tell oh. you something. Oh, I'm not an ASA. Unless you start. Hey. Yes. Start it, start hey, it, man. start it, start it. Hey. <laughs> I'm ready. What's y'all doing there? Unless you start. <laughs> so if you start, you do it. Answer beat in the shape. Madam, for be a man, I might go say, 
check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Yanko, 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 go. What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hey. Watch your back. Watch your back. Watch your back. Watch your back. Too much. Don't do, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. I beg you. Problem issue. It's a instrumental issue. Instrumental. Yeah, Mike, I got you. Thanks for saving us. Thanks for saving us. I'm coming for national. Thanks for saving us. Director, director, I find the above. Uh huh. Hey, hey. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My name is Etedua. I'm a host on Prime Morning. And, and keep on watching Prime Morning every Monday to Friday, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Hey, uh-huh. My name is Sam Rabi. Uh -huh. I'm a guest on Prime Morning. Keep on watching every day, Monday to Friday. Hey, let's go. Okay. Uh, uh, As you know, my name is Eno. Right. Your barber shirt will show. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Ma, 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 you, you've, you've let me fill her up. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, I said, I said, I'm a so. Hey, sir. I'm a so. Hey, And I'm feeling good. Easy. Yeah, this is not easy. As you say, I'm a so. 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 <laughs> Anyways, Abrado and Obrani, it's been amazing and exciting having you guys seated with me this morning. I must say that Ghana is proud of you. We are uh, uh, ecstatic about your contributions to the Ghana music industry. Now, before you go, we have qualified for the FIFA World Cup. Ghana versus Switzerland yesterday, friendly match, you know, to say. Ghana's performance was super duper. Now on the 24th of November, Ghana will be playing against um, Ghana will be playing against Portugal. Um, Portugal. Yes, on the 24th of November. What are your predictions? A Ghana win. Ghana yeah, win. A Ghana win. Mm. Yeah. You know. Don't judge black stars. Yes, a Ghana hmm. win. Don't judge. <laughs> Hashtag. Yeah. Don't judge black stars. Yeah. Yeah, anyways, okay. Uh, I wish I could read some more messages because the messages keep on coming. Let me let me take a few before we go. Hello, I'm Collins from Sugakope. I'm Rado, keep your hand, keep your hard work, sorry, okay. Um Hi, my name is Julius. I want Eno and Amara to do small rap. Oh, they just did, though, and they actually put me on the spot. <laughs> How do you feel about my rap? Yeah, <laughs> you can you can let us know, okay? Anyways, let, let them dance too. Oh, <laughs> okay, I'll let them dance. I will let them dance for you. It's Friday. Let's get excited about the weekend. Um, hello, mommy. I love your dress. Oh, thank you very much. Extend my greetings to Amrado and Eno. I'm all better. Good morning from my side. I really like your show. The three of you need to do collaboration. I tell you. <laughs> mm. People loved my, my line. See, you tried. We, yeah. That was excellent. <laughs> Super. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> anyway, so thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us right here on Prime Morning. It's been super exciting right here, gracing your screens, informing you, educating you, keeping you entertained. And my lovely guests, Amirado and Eno Baroni. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure that you go stream Don't Judge Me by Eno Baroni featuring D Wills. It's super duper. It's it's a very good song. I heard it yesterday and I actually screenshotted that I was going to make noise about it on social media and I'm still going to make noise about it because it's really good. And make sure that you do stream Amarado's Gina album. Yes, and I'm dropping uh, the uh, video of myself and family of the album, track one, Yamedada, tonight. Mm. So it's going to be on YouTube. Yeah. What time exactly should we 6 p.m. on the 6 dot. 6 p.m. on the dot. Yeah. Okay, so it will be available on... On, on YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube. Okay, okay. So do watch out. 6 p.m. on the dots. I'll be by my phone and I'll be waiting to stream. <laughs> okay. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Amado, thank you very much. Eno Barani, before you leave, I mean, you guys, um, tell us anything at all you want to tell your fans. 
Yo guys, so thank you for watching Prime Morning with me and Amrado and it's Theodora. Yes. And <laughs> don't judge me as out and featuring D Wells. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch the video and follow D Wells for more music. Right. Jenna is ours and a Yes. Yeah, my dad is premiered <laughs> this evening at <laughs> 6 p.m. And oh, me and Amara do have we a have song a on this yeah. album. It's not saying I'm not a bad bra. And it's not saying I'm a person with a bad bra. Well, we don't have the same breast size. I'm still to make sure my bra is a bad bra. It's a bad bra. And I'm a bad bra. Hey! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, it's also out, so go stream it. Yeah, I want to ask that. There it is. Hey, okay. <laughs> so we are definitely going to stream it off the Gina album. And no, thanks once more. I'm Rado, thanks once more. Have a lovely, lovely morning. And I hope that you come back into the studio for us to have more, you know, conversations about upcoming projects and also sure. all the best to you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for sticking and staying with us right here on Prime Morning. I didn't do this alone. I did this with IB Ben Bako. My name is Asiedua Akumia. See you next week Monday right here on Joy Prime TV at 6 a.m. on the dot. <laughs>